One spot left in the finals of the Grand Prix Tournament. Who will it be? Let's meet the fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he now improves his professional record to 27 wins, four losses, one draw, and four career knockouts. At six feet, two inches tall, 1.88 meters, he weighed in at 346 pounds, 157.1 kilos. He's back tonight, fighting out of Morocco. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Nabil the Tank. His opponent fighting out of the wide corner now improves his win record to 62 with 10 career losses and 20 career knockouts. At six feet, five inches tall, 1.96 meters, he weighed in at 271 pounds, 122.8 kilos. Fighting out of the Netherlands, he is the reigning heavyweight champion of the world, the king of kickboxing. Rico Verhoeven. And once again, your referee is Tomislav Novosel. Fighters. Gentlemen, you know the rules. Please follow my command. Touch your gloves if you want. Step back in the corner. Joe, this reminds me of a, a title defense Rico had many years ago against Ishmael Lazar down in his hometown. Yeah, that was good think back, but yeah, similar fight like that, and Rico was able to just pick him apart. But I don't think Lazar, time. Lazar had the go forward attitude quite like Kachab. Let's see if he gets overwhelmed by the moment. 23 years old, taking on the king. Yes, and that fight was five rounds. This fight did three rounds, and they both already had a fight. And in the first round fight, Kahab got confidence. Listen to me. He Listen has to me. nothing to lose. Okay. Just go forward. Break, break. You see Rico pushing it. Get him to clinch. Step back. What? You're going to see Rico use really good straight punches and jabs. And every time Kahab comes close, Rico just grabs him and it's clinching. Yeah, Rico's going to make him lose a point. Because Rico's not going to step back. Look, he's going to make him come in. So he smothered the punch. Well, you know, the referee keeps warning Kashab about holding, but Rico's doing it but too. I was going to say, it's pretty mutual. Yeah, Rico is the one so that smart. initiates the grabbing, not Kahab. Kahab is the one that comes in and starts throwing. Yeah, Kahab has to get inside. Why would he want to hold Rico once he gets there? Rico trying to move, use best his stance. The best situation for Kahab is now when he's close by, start swinging. Yeah, short in hooks. Yeah. yeah. But Rico is the one that's that grabbing what? him and don't, don't allow him to do that. I think Rico's good at using what we call like an open grip mantis. He doesn't really put his hands together, so it's not really what? clinching because the hands aren't coming together, but still very difficult. Rashab oh. said this is the fight he wanted. I want to fight the best, and now he's got the best. You can and he do something. You can see Rico is throwing the toes inside to oh. deliver shot yeah. Kahab, but he's... Go. That's the body armor of fat, what we were talking about. It's not affecting him. Oh, I thought that was muscle. You calling that fat? No, we're talking about fat. Yeah. <laughs> he has the true body armor. Yeah, Rico trying to stab away at that body. Stop. I'll tell you what, if he keeps going like this, Kashab's got a chance to win on points because Rico really hasn't done much. Well, I still yeah. think Rico's picking and stabbing away. He throws here and there, some push kicks to the liver. But I, I'm, I expected Rico to throw his known inside low kick. I don't know why he doesn't throw that anymore. Yeah. Maybe again, saving the shins for the finals. But eventually, there's going to have to be some form of warning on both sides. We can't continue a fight like this. No. They both deserve to be warned if either of one gets, gets that. Stop. Stop time. 
They revealed first round. I don't know who won that, who not. <laughs> maybe Kahab, maybe Rico. I still think Rico, the way he picked and moved, and there's a reason he's the king of kickboxing and the longest win streak in glory history. 22, including 11 title defenses. Started doing a lot of acting outside. Started the Black Lotus. Yeah, he told me he's uh, going to be in another film with Russell Crowe coming up. Yeah, he's pushing him to start work, working with the body and not allowing him to get close and hug him. He's looking there for him. Pressure and then work. Don't hug, don't stop. You know what I see pretty cool? I was looking at Rico Berhoven's corner. The whole corner staring at the other corner. They're just watching Kahab's corner and just smiling at them. Saeed, the trainer for Kahab, very animated there. Yeah, very angry at him, pushing him hard. This is opportunity rare to come. Three rounds with Rico. And you have this and this pressure style from here. You can see Rico just pickpointing his kicks. Get up. What? We've seen fighters melt under the lights and under the pressure before when facing Rico. Stop. And let's see if Kashab can listen to his trainer, not get caught up in a holding and hugging contest. Because Rico is not a great power puncher, he cannot stop Kahab coming in. But of course, in one of those right hand goes through, Kahab will be in problems. He still needs to watch out. Yep. An official warning had to come. Warning! Holding! It's official! Warning! Yeah, warning, but they warning. both deserve the warning. No. He said warning, but then he put his Stop. finger up. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I think this is just the warning, not the deduction yeah. point. But you don't yell to the judges it's a warning. You just tell the fighter generally. Nice oh. left there for Kashab. You now see why Rico is hugging him and pushing him. Ooh, there you were saying, Antonio. Throw those big punches on the inside. He's got to open up in that clinch range. I know I'm, I'm openly <laughs> cheering for Kahab right now. <laughs> I'm so excited. Well, we just want to see Rico tested more than anything. For sure. Yes. But Stop. this is his experience, the Stop. way he acts like he doesn't grab and do stuff, but he also grabs and, and clinch him. And yeah, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. That's what he's not from so yesterday. He's, he's 10 years already here. Oh, nice little pop jab from Rico. Antonio dream matchup for you is Rico, so you can say all this stuff. Oh. And this is how Rico can beat him all day long. Just pick apart, move. I'd like to see Rico just play a little bit more, use some angles, kind of pick apart. But again, safety, big things on the line. Kahab's still dangerous. Yes, and Kahab is, oh. Machine gun puncher, not very strong one power puncher. Yeah, it's surprised they haven't even seen one low kick really from Rico. Stop. Maybe one or two, but not maybe much. it's because of the knee, knee injury he had. Maybe True. that's yeah. why he yeah. stopped throwing the low kick. To have to throw th three fights with a, a knee that just had surgery. Good point. The body from Kahab can really take much. This is where Kashab should go in there, go guns blazing. Okay, but. I think Rico almost wants a test. Stop. He's like, come on, man. No holding. Fine. Come on. Oh. Come on. That's it. This is the point now. Yeah. Minus. Minus point. He was Minus holding point. the ring no holding. with his hand. Yeah. Fight. Stop. Yeah, he has what? a bad habit where he plays his hand on the top. Yeah, he rests it. And yeah. Hands. Oh. Stop. Stop. Well, what? Kahab have one more round what? to try and make some changes and push him. Well, Kahab's confident. He just blew a kiss at Rico as he was walking away. All right, he's losing though. He's got to do something. Rico is just cool, collected, easy, no problems. 
Kahab is the one that needs to push now. He wants to catch him with the jab, over the jab with the right hook. Kahab with those inside combinations. When they get inside and he throws, they do pretty well in moments. Rico finding a nice straight to split the guard of Kahab. There's that little winking kiss from the tank. Kahab likes it. What? Todd, what do you have to say about all of this? I don't know why they hugged at the beginning of the round, because they're going to hug all round as well. <laughs> hey. Fighting show and stand-up comedy show, all in <laughs> once. Ooh. There's Rico switching stances. Well, as much as we're, oh. you know, criticizing Kajab oh. for holding, Rico's the maybe the greatest there's ever been. Shouldn't he just go in there and be able to blast this guy out, Joe? Yeah, I think part of it's that. Yeah, but that's the problem. Rico is not a big power puncher, and like you see, he's not even throwing punches. He's just kick and then this, this, these are not punches. This is just like, I don't, just to break, step back, bother you, nothing else. Yeah. And the, the real sad part is that Levy Richters is so fatigued and was so beaten up. He's not going to have much in the finals, whereas Rico's basically just been warming up right now. Yeah. Yes. I think it's the right approach, to be honest with you. I mean, could Rico make it exciting and go for broke and try to get knockouts? Yes, but there's so much on the line for him with legacy, the unbeaten streaks. Yeah, but he's not an exciting guy. That will not change now. He's not type of the guy that will go in gun blazing, Badr Hari style, just open fight. But I think you can bring it out in him, right? Jamal did it. Certain fights did it. Adik Bowie did it. Yeah. Badr Hari did it. Break, step back. You can pull Rico into big fights, but... Yeah, but now he j just likes to keep it safe. Yeah, he's going to get a lot of money if, if he keeps it this way. Bye. Rico, neutral. Neutral. Take your time. I'm here caught giving advices. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> to the Kahab. No water. Take your time because growing. Because growing. <laughs> He's asking for water. That wasn't even a low blow, what it seemed like for that highlight. Ready? That seemed like inside Ready? knee. This is now one minute, all or nothing. Hey, Jamal Ben Sadiq's in his corner. Maybe he could give him some advice. Hooks, hooks, Kahab, hooks. I mean, we know Kashab can do better than this. We've seen him in every single fight. This isn't the Kashab we're used to. Yeah, but it's, he did already the first fight, three rounds against Benny. Benny is basically right now the small Rico, less effective, but similar fighting style, or at least tries to be that way. I mean, even just Kahab beating Adek Bui in one night is a huge success for him, if you think about it in his career. Yeah, he's only 23 years old. It's yeah, it's huge. It's a huge accomplishment. And to, to be in here with Rico to go this far, I mean, I still think it's an impressive start for the, the young Moroccan. Rico is not even trying to punch. He's just slapping, like, just slap, slap, slap. Throws the knee. Break, step back. I don't know. Step maybe I'll, I should start slapping people in fights. Maybe that, that's the trick. No. Maybe we are all wrong in doing it. Well, you said a lot, Antonio. You get to fight him one day soon. The decision, if there was any doubt, when we return. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we'll take it to the judges' scorecard. All five of our ringside judges score this bout. 30-26, a unanimous decision for your winner. Now advancing to the tournament final, Rico Verhoeven. I'm, I'm here with your winner, Rico Verhoeven.
Rico, a lot going on here. Give me a reaction with what's happening. Yeah, guys, it's for me, it's very simple. I thought I won the fight clearly, and for the rest, you know, uh, we had a discussion. He said, like, oh, the ref is helping him. The ref is helping him. Well, I thought that's BS.